The origins of Penn State as a land-grant university was to basically educate people in those areas to lead to a stronger economy. Mining engineering is the oldest engineering program at Penn State. Pennsylvania was to become a powerhouse in those days with the advent of, of uh, steelmaking, coal and uh, iron ore in the same place were a powerful, powerful mix. It was all about extraction of minerals. And so extraction of oil and gas falls right in there. I think it was 1859, the very first commercial oil well was drilled in Pennsylvania in Titusville. The Penn State's petroleum engineering program is one of the oldest programs in the nation. The program's name since its inception has been petroleum and natural gas engineering. And so the work on Pennsylvania's natural resources have been going on for that long. And if I do my math right, that's at least three, if not four generations of faculty uh, before I came along. My focus is, is not just in natural gas, but we work also in problems of other petroleum hydrocarbons and radioactive waste disposal, geothermal energy. So uh, we work in general area of subsurface engineering, uh, always with rocks, with fluids in them. If it's important to get that fuel, um, it's important to get it done right, and I think that's where we, we come in, in, in training our students to be cognizant of environmental issues. And it's good to see our students successful out there. I've been at Penn State for the last 40 years. And we have sent quite a number of uh, capable engineers to the different parts of the world. To me, one of the things that I enjoy as a petroleum engineer and, and as an educator, just to see their accomplishments. I've told people a very famous story right now about driving home one night just before Christmas, thinking Merry Christmas America, you don't know what's in store for you, but it is really going to be big. The whole fracking debate has become so polarized. I mean, on one side, you'll talk to some folks in the industry, and sometimes they will just deny that there's any problems whatsoever, and that's not true. But then on the, on the other hand, you'll talk to the environmentalists, at some of them, and they'll make it sound like fracking's the worst thing that we've ever done, and, and it, that's just not true either. We started the Marcellus Center for Outreach and Research, and the objective of that was basically to educate people, the public in large part, about specifically the Marcellus in Pennsylvania. No question, the impact of the Marcellus gas shale as it's hit Pennsylvania has become the most significant thing that I've participated in in my research here at Penn State. We were funded by National Science Foundation to find water quality data for the region of the Northeast where fracking is occurring and then publish it online. It's a very important balance that we think about that we want to pull energy out of the planet in ways that maintain the planet so that we can live on it. voracious appetite for energy, but we have to do it responsibly. That's where the future is. We all work on a kind of a huge uh, jigsaw puzzle, and that's where our creativity, uh, our analytical thinking uh, should come together. Well, I've been here 26, almost 27 years, and this work that I'm doing right now on fracking is one of the most interesting things I've done. Uh, I know we stack up very, very well relative to other universities. If you can brag that you've got top 10 programs and so on, uh, that's great. But at the end of the day, you have to still show people. So how is it impacting society in a positive way? There's a reason for uh, state universities. They're not just um, institutions of, of uh, um, education for the young of Pennsylvania. They also are institutions where mankind actually makes some of the most fundamental breakthroughs in understanding of the world around 